After completing his mission and destroying the evil Baron, Teddy Toto had to go back to his home planet of Raxacorico Falipatorius, and he was never seen again. Welcome back to Freshly Picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. We defeated a super boss in the last video. And there's things going on with the Yamatami tribe. I got Agent Smith back because he's a medium bodyguard, and I learned that Drifter bodyguards just can't cover those special abilities. So we're going to need a medium coming up. This is the port that Teddy Toto is afraid of. We could call the pirates there. But I'd rather do that at, like, Cape Treasure. It's a lot easier. The only other reason to be over here is because the journalist passed out again. Probably got conked on the head by one of the king's guards. But he refuses to die unless he tastes the finest juice in the land. But we're not getting that for him right now. No, I'll, I'll do that later. What's he gonna do? Languish a little bit. That's it. We could just come back and do this later. We got more pressing problems. Like King Yamatami. He's up to some hijinks. Volcano hijinks. Oh no! What's he doing to those rupees? This must be the anti-rupee tower. It goes deeper and deeper as you throw rupees in. This is the realm of the evil rupee god, obviously. No, you'll be going to rupee hell instead of rupee paradise. He's gone completely mad! Tingle, what are you doing? Oh, wow. Uh, Tingle's scream was so wimpy, he gave the king an aneurysm. Hmm, sorry about that. I don't know what got into Tingle. He acted a little possessed himself. But at least Mamba's here, and she figured out the curse. A bad rupee god is using evil rupee power. And there's a beast inside the volcano. It's, it's living under the island, kind of like in Mother 3. And it's protecting a box full of good rupee power. So what we have to do is go ahead and get that good rupee power and the Yamatami tribe will be happy again and I'll be filthy, filthy rich. But they're afraid of the mountain beast. Oh well, I, I can see where this is going. What's in it for me? They're too scared to enter the mountain. They need somebody else like Agent Smith. And they can't afford him. Rupees? Did you mention rupees? Oh yes, great many rupees. <laughs> Got lots of rupee addiction going on. Oh yeah, the mountain is dangerous, but uh, Tingle doesn't really care about that. We're just gonna go ahead and go for it. It's time for the final dungeon of the game. Death Mountain. Pretty much that's what it is, it's Death Mountain. Like in every Zelda game. Time to enter the Anti-Rupee Tower. The Anti-Rupee Tower is a little bit annoying. I think it's the biggest dungeon in the game, so you guys are going to have to brace yourselves for this. We're going to have to head all the way to the ground floor. Look how many levels we got here. Ridiculous. I'm going to have to do a lot of tingling here. Look at all these puzzles. In fact, I'm pretty sure this leads somewhere, but I want to get to the ground floor. The ground floor is a proper entrance to this place, and also... There's a little shortcut for us. Instead of going all the way up the mountain, we could always end up right here. And we could arrive from the base of the mountain if we ever need to leave for any reason. Me, I am already prepared. I got a whole bunch of Mega Tinglys. I'm ready to go. Plus, I could revive this bodyguard, so that's a bonus. Looks like the evil Rupee God put up a gate. Or is this the good Rupee God? I can never tell. They're both Rupee obsessed. Well, we need 8,000 rupees to open this gate. The final dungeon of the game is upon us. Yeah. Enjoy it! This is the last gate opening we'll ever see. I hope. It's time to enter... Desma's Labyrinth. I prefer Death Mountain. Death Mountain sounds deathier. But this area is one big puzzle thing. You know the Zelda games. Pretty much the, the puzzles are going to involve, for the most part, these things for right now. I'm going to have to put giant mental balls into place to open up doors. That leads to nowhere of importance, but I'm going to be going there anyway. Look, I pushed the last mental ball. It's up to you to push this one. Go, Agent Smith, go! I've gotten a lot better at my bodyguard pushing. I've been practicing. Also, Agent Smith has a pretty good hitbox for pushing things, too, so that kind of helps. He's not too small or too big, he's just right. 
in here, we just got a whole bunch of jars filled with rupees. Or at least during the triple digits. More rupees are always welcome. In fact, look at all the rupees I got. There's an item that drops on the third continent called the Super Chip, and it's basically uh, a more improved version of the Triangle Chip. You could take that back to the lottery and you could win 10,000 rupees if you get all three. Of course, I cheated. And I had quite a few of those. But we're going to have to head the long way, because uh, we have a few more switches to hit, and we don't have any more steel balls left. So it's time to head into this area. Overground level 1. Like every good dungeon, there's going to be an ambush room. Of course, who didn't see this coming? And these guys kind of move like tektites. Remember the jumping spiders? They're here now too. And they're always mounted related. Well, at least the Zelda games are consistent. So, anything else we gotta do in this room? Actually, yes! This is an interesting little puzzle. We got spinning, spinning molten blocks that we can't stop by running into them. Instead, we gotta fill up some jars. I also got rid of the local specialties on the off-screen too. Grab the rest of the jars. And in fact, I got a hold of the last star sticker that we need. The three-star sticker. Dr. Bean will be glad to see that. But I have a puzzle to solve. He's gonna have to wait too. No one gets between Tingle and a dungeon filled with rupees, if they want to live. Just like with the, the flaming pigs, throw water at them to douse them out. And luckily, even though that floor looks molten, they won't relight themselves. And actually, they have a much hit bigger hitbox than they look, so you could bounce bottles against them. Kind of weird positioning. Actually, it's a little annoying watching those bottles bounce when I throw them. I expect them to keep on the same trajectory. But that didn't solve our problem, though, because we got an additional puzzle. Yep, it's one of those. We gotta mash the patterns. And I'm gonna have Ancient Smith do this, because he's a lot better at pushing than Tingle is. We're gonna have to match the patterns up. This might take a little while, depending on how much Agent Smith wants to cooperate with me. Let's get this one out of the way. I gotta push that one all the way to the left. We could do that one later. Instead, I'm gonna take care of this one. It didn't seem like it could push it there for a second. I was running up against the other one instead. Maybe, maybe I'm just being psychosomatic about this whole thing. Maybe Tingle pushes just as fast as Agent Smith. But you don't see it because the screen scrolls with Tingle. Yeah, that might be the case. I might be overthinking this a little bit. Relying on bodyguards too much, just like Tingle. Now, if I remember correctly, we go up from here, but I just saw a room down this way. I want to check this out. What does this lead to? Oh, yeah, this is, remember, uh, we just passed this room. Apparently, we took down the fire gate there as well. Well, there's no reason to go that way unless we want to leave the dungeon. It's just another shortcut, I guess. Now it's time for this room. We got turrets here. Luckily, our bodyguards could block projectiles, so we could go ahead and move them in position, and they'll block the bullets for us. Each of these bullets do about 200 rupees of damage. You don't want to get hit by them, especially not the multiple firing ones. You know what? This is taking too long. Time to get a little reckless. Yeah, there we go. You don't really need to move the bodyguards if you don't have to. But in this room, you might just have to. There are collapsible floors here, and the best way to do it is to send your bodyguard. They can't fall down the hole. If you do end up falling down a hole, it sends you back to uh, the level below us, and you have to do it all over again. And these fireballs will not take away your rupees, they'll just stun you a little bit. Which is bad if you're just going over a collapsible floor, and uh, you get knocked into it. That would make you angry. And also in this room, also collapsible floors. Moving yourself or a bodyguard next to them, they'll give themselves away, but it's not much of a warning. Here, I'm just going to set them all off so you know where they are. Usually the, uh, the right side of this room is pretty good at keeping you safe. We got a crack here, but this crack doesn't contain a rupee good. 
even though I'm going to explode it with my last Tingle Bomb anyway. If you take a small bodyguard in there, you will get a ruby as a prize. The only rupee goods in this area can be grabbed by medium bodyguards. So we don't need to play around with that. It's actually a ruby good. I just thought about that right now. I can't believe I almost missed that joke. This pool is a little bit different than the others. This pool actually contains... Tingo Bomb juice. So, somebody's been mixing up Tingo Bombs. Maybe this is where the pirates have been getting them from. They fly up here, they stock up on Tingo Bombs, and they try to sell them to me. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and empty this pool, because... Even though the pirates could sell them for 100 rupees a piece, I'm getting them for free. And if I'm not mistaken, this, this pool will res respawn after a while. And something tells me there's puzzles involving Tingle Bombs, so... The more the merrier. I think I could take about seven Tingle Bombs before this thing dries up. I was counting the last time I played. Yeah, there we go. Seven Tingle Bombs. I think that's more than enough for this area. We got these things. They're a lot faster. But that's not too much for Tingle. Way too much for Tingle. He just wants a break already. I'm just gonna stand here and let myself get exploded. Because that's safer than getting thrown into fireballs like that. Well, that was an interesting puzzle. Thank you for that. That's just excellent. Now we got this thing. We're gonna head up this ladder. This is not the way we're supposed to go, but it's the way I'm going. Because it leads to a rupee good. It's another medium bodyguard area. So that means we're going to get our first rupee good in this area. I wonder what it could be. It's something fire related, I know that. Volcano related. I just thought up a great title for this video. Tingle vs. the Volcano! Starring, what's his face? I forget his name now. Ah, it's going to drive me nuts. Who's the guy in... I, I even forget the name of it. It was just first as a volcano. That's all I could think about now. Ah, it's going to drive me nuts. Both those names. Let's just occupy myself with some puzzles. This puzzle's a little tricky. Well, it actually seems rather simple. But, not really. There's two ways it can go. What we need to do is get the steel ball on top of that switch first. I thought it was something else. I'm probably thinking later in this dungeon. Maybe this is where the slowness comes in handy. Just watch the difference between Tingle yeah, I'm seeing no difference there. I'm just experimenting now. I want to make up a theory. Can bodyguards push better than Tingle? Now we have to lower that thing because it looks important. Fortunately, there's a switch right here. Now we have a choice. Not only is that door open forever, we gotta do two different kinds of puzzles that involve this room. And we have to come back to this room either way, so I'm gonna take this puzzle first. Is it really much of a puzzle? I don't really think so. It just involves pushing things. And getting money. Pushing things to get money. Like buttons on a controller. It's like this is one huge video game. Huh. We're gonna have to take care of this steel ball first. And it has that thing. I don't know what it is. It makes weird noises and if you leave it alone for too long it explodes. I don't know what it is, I don't want to think about it. Instead, I just want to push steel balls. That's all Tingle's good for anymore. Come on, Tingle, you can do it. The steel ball probably weighs like 20 tons, but you can push it easily with its chest. Tingle's more of a man than you. That's right, I'm gonna shame you. And you can push this one onto the switch. But the problem is that we have to go all the way back to that room and we have to do something with that other steel ball we left behind. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab this 2,800 rupees first. Extra prizes! Yeah, I'm not relishing the fact of going all the way back there, especially not on camera. In fact, the moment this room transitions, I'm going to leave you hanging until I can get back there. All right, it's taking way too long. No room trans transition for you. Oh, never mind. there it is. I like to do my cuts at room transitions. I can't help it. It's an OCD thing. I'll be right back. And we finally made it back to the room with the, the ball. I forgot something though. 
that ambush room that we went through, it actually resets as you're going back to complete this puzzle. It's really mean. It's not necessary. We don't need it there. You know what? Tingle's tired. Hey, you take care of this. You both do equal work now. I'm right behind you all the way. 100%. As I said before, this is really not much of a puzzle. More like busy work. And the reason why I wanted to do this one second is so I could get those pots. Well, I could have got them either way, but at least they're on camera now. Which is a good thing. Finally, this puzzle is almost complete. Almost. If only Tingle could stand on top of the ball and push it, you know, like a circus performer. Sadly, no, he's not that athletic. I mean, seriously, he's Tingle. He's 35 years old. He's too old to be doing that kind of stuff. What do you think this is? Cirque du, Cirque du Tingle? I tried to get fancy there, and I'm bad at French. So, the dungeon's already complete, right? We could finally go home. We could fight some kind of fire beast of some sort and grab our rupees and go home. You wish? Look at all this lava! Next time I freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land, we gotta deal with lava! Good night, folks.